Let's play Redactyl number 595 on Wednesday, November 22nd, 60th anniversary of the assassination of JFK. I don't think we're going to get something about that today. Uh, difficulty seems pretty high. It's a 10 letter word. And then we have something in parentheses that doesn't display. Something referred to as four. So I think that might be an acronym, but again, we have these, uh, I suppose, non-Roman characters. Is a five, four, and six, five, eight used on, used on all of these things. It something, the something, it's something the need for such as, and then we have all these other things. It is an eight of three, and then three, four, and, and four, six, seven, or five, five. I wonder if that's a combination of these things in some way. There are some eight using 10, 10. The five, six from near five. Ooh, that should be helpful, but nothing is near death comes to mind. The something ranges from near, I don't think it's near death, but near something, and something from a 5-5 five five to a 5-3, so that seems like, yeah, some kind of range in there. Uh, because of it, something to 5, 7, 11 are because they are something, <laughs> excuse me, um, 10, oh, this could be the history is a 6, 7, 11. Is it an ancient something that seems to have something for the 5-4 in some year. The something blank over 4 as to the... Ooh. So maybe there's some dispute as to the um, source, maybe source sources have been something. It may have come from China. Most things came from China, it seems. Yeah, not sure what's going on here. And then some phrase. Or it could be a book in some year somebody published. Funny to have a title where all of the, the words are redacted. Maybe it's in Latin. Um, yeah, perhaps. So oh, yeah, and in fact, here we do have something translated into English. The eye of something, the eve of, the end of, the way it is used. So obviously it's something that is used, but that doesn't really narrow it down. Is it a raw material or is it some kind of a tool? That's a three, one, three, six and three in English. Um, 
Could that be a Y? No, I thought it might be Spanish for and. Yeah, keep going, I suppose. Just keep looking for something to jump out of me. And that the something is that. Oh, maybe this is some letter. Or, or some shapes have changed into an something over time. Oh, there's uh, the old fashioned way of writing, etc. So this is from some old book, I suppose. Oh, is this maybe some kind of recipe? I wonder if it could be some kind of uh, food. We do have four foods. Because four or five is uh, not, is it not meant? Not something for such food. And let's look at our other foods. As food, something, something, something. This uh, makes, this makes 10, which I presume is our title. A something, something food. And then we get into some percentages. The eight, seven of 10, so much six, three, could that be something oil? It is something oil. Um, castor oil comes to mind. There's a four letter, could that be salt? Yes, and how about flour? No. Let's try castor oil. No. Yeah, there is a single flower. A uh, mixture of flour and um, flour and something to uh, bake it. To boil it, oops. How about fry? We have a single fry. Oh, here we go. See, so yeah, I think it was that um, excerpt from an old book. The way it was written made me think of a, uh, a recipe, and that got me on the food line. But still, I uh, have a ways to go with this one, I think. Ten. Something referred to as four is a, could it be a clear? No, is a something, something, and something, well, it could it be a dressing? Ah, no, not salad dressing. And then what's fry five? It's something I thought it might be the need for. Oh, how about the base for? Ah, so um, some kind of maybe like a, a sauce or a marinade or something other. How about sauces? Uh huh. There we go. Fry sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, I've never heard of fry sauce, have you? Um, well, let's try ketchup. Don't, well, there is one ketchup down below. I, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not a great cook. 
I just have my few staples that I go back to. Um, 10 is a blank blank. And uh, is it a savory in the American spelling? No. Oh, how about sweet? No. How about sour? No. And something sauce used on. And then there's two other 10 letter words. Eight, six. That could it be used on uh, meats? No, how about meat? Well, only one meat. You know, here was this uh, thing that made me think it was a recipe, I think. Um, usually it starts with take. Yes, take something blank of blank. Three, five of five. And something of oil. Uh, mix. No, uh, something How about stir. Uh, cook, have I done cook? Three cooks. It may have come from, well, let's try China. No, India. No, Spain. Oh, there we do have Spain. Oh, how about Italy for cooking? No. Let's try France. Oh, five could be a city because I think um, seven of seven, maybe just saying where this five place is in the something, something, yeah, some region of Spain. I'm thinking if they're a bechamel sauce, but I think that this is going to be something older and more uh, basic than that, I would think. Ten is a... oh, so it's actually not just the... it's, yeah, it's a mixture, is an... is an something amalgam, is an... oi oi oi, three, four, well, I don't think it's going to be soy, but... Oil, what else would the, be in this, and, and, four, six, seven, or five, five. There are many, there are many, uh, Recipes, uh, varieties, too long. There are many something using this. The five, six ranges, I thought that was. No, range from near something. I'm going to pause for a moment. All right, so what are these? Adjectives before uh, sauce is a going to be spicy. It's a spicy little sauce. No. Could it be plain? No. Cold. Oh, it is cold. Ha! Huh. I really did not expect that to match. Oh, uh, maybe it's a color. It's white. No. Oh, there we go. So it's near white to very. No. To uh, deep. Dark. Purple. What's the four six color from near white to something? Um. Hmm. Anyway, so. I'm very surprised that cold is one of the adjectives, so it's a 
something something thing and then what's the adverb before used oh could it be used on uh, vegetables no used on 10 10 8 6 and 6 5 It's something, something the base for uh, several, no, uh, multiple is too long, such as something sauce, fry sauce, oh, let's try marinade, no, yeah, it's uh, marinara maybe. No. Um, boy, I'm out of my depth here. Um, I am thinking for a cold, of course, gazpacho, but that's too short. That's only eight. Um, is a something cold and lonely sauce? Um, I am really out of my depth here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some hints just to, uh, in the interest of time. I have chores to run today, getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's get this first adjective here. Thick. Ah, thick, cold, and something so does thick help me not really a thick sauce no let's try another hint um of course i could i'll wait to get that four letter word that it's sometimes referred to as so let's see what it's used on let's try 10. oh oh um, well, mayonnaise comes to mind then. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, so sandwiches, I think if it is, was a very useful uh, hint to get. Mayonnaise, two S's, right? Maybe I'm, yeah, so, but mayonnaise is, well, is mayonnaise thick? No, maybe not. Ooh, a six could uh, one of the other adjectives be chunky? No. Thick, <laughs> cold, and um, oh, maybe mayonnaise is two ends. There we go. My goodness, my spelling is uh, atrocious. All right, so that's funny. There have only been 29 games played. That seems on the low side. Uh, and the median is 55, so I'm close to the median. And yeah, it doesn't look like we have too many, like only one person out of the 29. But I'm sure that will change uh, as the day it goes on. Uh, colloquially referred to, oh yeah, if I'd used the hint for mayo, that would have given it to me. Of course, I'd still have struggled with the spelling oh creamy sauce sandwiches hamburgers composed salads oh my goodness what is a composed salad a wagnerian or ravelian anyway forms the base for other sources uh, sauces tartar remoulade salsa golf no, I think they're just putting words in here as random to uh, keep us on our toes. Anyway, French cuisine appellation. Ah, here's the source. The five-letter place was Mahon in Menorca. Ah, interesting. In the Balearic Islands. Interesting, very 
Strange that it originated from a small island. Anyway, that is enough for uh, today. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you did better than I did and have a great day.